Clarissa, last time I saw you, you were a 17-year-old girl on your way to the Olympics. Now you're a gold medalist. You haven't lost since then. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about your confidence level. Oh, my confidence level is it's so high because I work so hard. Um, 2012, I had lost right before the Olympics. And then once the Olympics came, I won. Since then, I fought the tournament that I lost in with the World Championships, and it comes around every two years. I just won that this past November, all unanimous decisions. Um, right now, one in the country, in the continent. I'm just excited to be here at the uh, at the Pan Am Games. So that's why my confidence level is so high. I'm just I train so hard. I train so hard. So 17 year old, you were unbeatable. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> three years later, I would imagine that you're even better. Yes, I'm a lot smarter. I'm taller now. I weigh a little bit more, and I'm definitely stronger than I've ever been. Um, at 17, I was very strong. 20, I'm I'm stronger. So, I'm just ready to compete and um, you know, show these girls, you know, what I came here for. I've never fought in the Pan Am Games. This is my first time. Just to add a new title is, you know, re like it's refreshing to me. It's something new, you know. So. Talk, talk to me about the experience of being here in Toronto for the Pan Am Games. How have you lived it? You've got a little chance to, to relax before you, you step into the ring. So what's that been like? Always been great. It actually remind me of the Olympics. Like the you have the Olympic Village, you have all the different countries, all the different athletes. And it reminds me so much of the Olympics. It's like when me and my teammate Marlene, we, we were getting in our rooms, she was like, oh my God, this reminds me of when we were in London. I said, yeah, the rooms, the beds. It's just, uh, it's like a mini Olympics. You're just living it all over again. But the Olympics is next year, so we get to live it twice. All right. Marlon went into the Olympics as a great favorite. She came away with bronze. You came away with gold. What have you seen in Marlon that makes you confident that she can finally drape that gold medal around her neck? Um, Marlon has changed in so many ways. She just became a better person. And when you're a better person, you're a better fighter. Um, I think going into the... 2012 Olympics, it had with a lot of pressure on her. She had a lot of deals and everything, and she was just like overwhelmed. But she was always focused. But you know, sometimes you can lose sight, and I don't think that she lost sight. I think that loss taught her taught her a lot. She um she also just won a world championship this past November. She also won the Continentals. She's ranked number one in the country, like I am. We're like on the same path, and like I have, I know for a fact that she's going to come out on top with the gold. Walk me through what improvements you know that you've made coming off of a gold medal Olympic performance. The improvements that I've made. Well, you're not a perfect fighter. You know, I'm just the Olympic gold medalist. But the things that I always work on is being faster, being sharper, punching harder, being smarter. And I've improved on all of those things since 2012. And that's why I'm so dominant now. So, The Clarissa Shields that I met when you were 17, was a little shy, a little <laughs> unsure of herself. You put her in the ring, though, and it was all over. Now I see a different Clarissa. Talk to me about the personal growth. Well, the personal growth is, um, well, I just moved out of Flint maybe about a month ago. I live at the Olympic Training Center now. Throughout those years, I've been able to uh, endure and go through a couple of things, and it just made me grow as a person. I've always had to grow up pretty fast, but... Now I'm actually able to be in control of my life. I know what I want to do. I know how I want to do it. I have my goal set, and I'm just working toward my goal. Um, when I was 17, I was just, I was being led. Now it's kind of like I'm leading myself now, and I'm trying to make the right decisions here and there, so everything will turn out right. I feel, I feel confident in what I'm doing. I think I'm making the right decisions, I hope. <laughs> you know, when you were 17 years old, and, and you're right, there was no pressure. How have you managed now the fact that everybody is gunning for Clarissa Shield, whereas before, you were gunning for the gold? <laughs> well, now, um, well, now with everybody always expecting so much out of me, I train extra hard now. I, not, I, don't, I don't ever overtrain, but I train really hard. And just with that, I just make sure that I'm still level-headed, and I, and I fight like... When I get in the ring and enter every fight, I feel like I'm the underdog. I don't know why. And I'm always like, I, I just have to perform at 120% every fight. I can never get in the ring and not feel good and not perform. I have to perform at, you know, at all times. So that's just what I do. And um, I fight everybody like, like, like they're a world champion. I just forget about, I don't live in the past. I forget about the fact that I won a gold medal, that I won the world championships, that my record is 59 wins and one loss. I just forget about all that and I go in the ring like 
Let's start all over again. We're at zero and zero. Do you want to be one and oh, or do you want to be zero and one? That's it. So. You went from being the kid to now being the one that everyone looks up to. What's your best advice to your teammates who want to be where Clarissa Shields is today? My advice to my teammates who want to be where I am is to just train hard, focus, and do what makes you feel comfortable. It's, um, we're all different. You know, I, my leg can get on the treadmill and run about six, seven miles. I weigh 165. She weighs 112. I'm not going to get on the treadmill and run six miles. I'm just not going to do it. I get on there and run maybe four or five, but you know, you got to do what's best for you. You got to work. See, me, her working her hardest is not me working my hardest, and everybody's different. Just make sure that, like, that your mental game is there. A lot of guys get psyched out with, you know, oh, this guy is ranked this or he won this. I don't even think about that. I don't even look at the fighters in the face when I'm fighting them. I just get in there. Figure them out, do my job, win, go home. That's all they got to do. No pressure. That's it. The last words from your family before you left to come here to the Pan Am Games were? Oh, I always tell my family, um, I tell my mom to put on my Clarissa Shields t-shirt the days that I fight. And uh, she tell me, good luck, sunshine. That's about it. <laughs> Everybody's wishing me luck, though. And they, and, they, and they all have been praying for me, so... I, I look forward to fighting. I hope are they showing the fights on ESPN? Oh yeah, this is like a pro debut for me. I get the fight on ESPN. Oh yeah, turn up. <laughs> Great, Clarissa Shields, you are a sunshine. Thank you.